Alright guys welcome back thanks for clicking the video we are inside the boat and Minerva is guarding the cell we have to rescue the others so I don't know what to do get out not without our people I swear to God if you got ten caught up in this just just tell me that he's safe give me that he told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. And then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Luz first. He's... he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Dorian? Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis. What the fuck are you doing? Please. Don't no. fucking point that at me. Don't have me. Don't have me. Minnie, let us go. No. Oh my god, she. <sighs> What the hell? Oh. 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 Lewis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to you? No! No, no, don't. They, they, uh... They cut out his tongue. Oh he just, my uh... God. He kept fucking talking. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Louis. <laughs> I'll make these bastards pay for this. I promise you, Louis. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cutting out someone's tongue. You'll be home soon. These will definitely pay. Staying here that long. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Poor Lewis. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! 
Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. I'll get us out of here. I promise. Shit, man, that wasn't good. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes, Omar, are you hurt? I... Fuck. I just want to go home. We will. Okay. How you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm alright. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Anything else I can do before I do the last thing? Don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He got hurt bad in a fight. We let him turn. He wanted to die quick, but we didn't let him. Fuck, you little monster. Damn it! Abel was in so much pain from the fall. He begged for us to kill him. He wasn't pretty. That's enough. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, 
I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. That seems like a pretty stupid way to make a point. It was extreme. But I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised the pigs. Missing. And the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. Putting guns in their hands and forcing them to fight? How generous. They were just doing what they needed to survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie, no, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! All right, Lily, you made your point. I'll do what you want. What? No! You can't become a soldier in their army. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. But as I said before, this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Uh, Easy! Uh, Stay still! Shit! Fuck you! No! Uh, uh, Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. to die. We'll kill you! 
You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, or we'll tie you up and watch you turn. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. For Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance... I know. I know. Okay? Sophie's dead. I have a new family. Minnie, just stop! Stop fighting! You all need to understand. This is the only way! Lay down, stay in line, or you die! The people you love die! If you just do what they say, you can live! All of you! You can have a nice life! Be rewarded! Just like I am. You gave up, Minerva. I never will. Behind you! You're the fucking problem here! I won't let you get them all killed! No! Better see you on land. You will. Okay, I'll end this part here. See you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.